everybody welcome back to my channel thank y'all for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about movies how about clicking that subscribe button so we're gonna go ahead and continue off the month of july with some more random ranking videos as you can tell by the title we're gonna be talking what i consider to be the top 10 movie franchise <laughs> Now starting off with number 10, hopefully I don't lose you guys already, will be the Twilight franchise. That is right, I am a Twilight fan. I am Team Jacob. God, when this whole franchise started, you guys, I was in on it. I honestly don't see the hate that a lot of people give it. <laughs> to be honest with you because i'm a fan obviously right yeah i know i'm a big audible person you guys i've said this if you're new i love love audible it takes me so long to read a freaking book you guys literally but i actually read read or i don't know if audible existed at that time read the books all of them except for um breaking dawn so because it's the biggest one <laughs> twilight is honestly my least favorite from the movie perspective i didn't hate the book i actually quite enjoyed the book moving on to number nine which would be the purge i mean who will participate in the purge if this would happen i'm not gonna lie i would participate in the purge i would be out there um i just feel like i know a lot of you are probably like oh my god stephanie really but i just feel like i may be a little bit safer out in the open or have like a purge party because if you're like stuck in a house or whatever, like what about like, you know, in part one where they like break in and everything. I don't know. I just feel like we're safer in numbers in a way. Unless you're in that situation when they were in a purge party. And the, I can't remember what party it was, but when the sister went kind of cuckoo, killed the sister and shot then the husband and you know, it was a lot going on. But I really do enjoy the purge movies for what they are. If y'all been with me for a while, y'all know I'm into like gruesome, violent, you know, gory stuff. And this is, um, kind, I mean, it's not as gory and gruesome but there's a lot of murder happening hopefully like we never come to that point in, in like our actual lives and move on to number eight and that would be scream and i know i've said this a lot of times that i'm not a horror fanatic i'm really not but this is more like a slasher type of movie and so i can deal with with this i just can't do like pop-up scares demonic stuff don't don't bring no demonic things to me like scary little girls and boys no i no, i don't do none of that scream has been with us since the 90s um mtv actually had a series called scream and i really really was into it as well we're supposed to be beginning a part five i think it's five now i'm looking forward to that it is something that i would watch in theaters um i don't think i've ever seen a screen movie in theaters and all that I think about it have I I don't think I have to be honest with you now number seven would be oceans and I'm also incorporating the new ocean movie that came out well now it's been like two or three years the one with Sandra Bullock the girl version of oceans I really like that movie as well I know I didn't get as much love but I really really enjoyed it um, my least favorite of the four is I think it's number two. The one when we got Catherine Zeta Jones in the uh, movie. That's my least favorite of all of them. I mean, we have such a wonderful cast. It's just such a fun, entertaining heist movie, to be honest with you. Number six would be The Fast and the Furious. And I mean, I've loved this franchise from the get go. I've loved all the movies except for um tokyo drift which now that we know how everything kind of incorporates i don't think i hate it as much as i used to now that i kind of know so more so where the timeline frame is because it just didn't make sense that Hong came back and then he's coming back and i was gonna rewatch the uh, movie so i could rank the movies to be prepared for what well, i should have done it already because the fast and the furious 9 should have been out in april but obviously got pushed back till next year so i'm gonna do my ranking video uh for it once we get closer to the movie actually you know what i'm just gonna wait for part nine to come out so i can literally just rank all the nine i guess all 10 i'll incorporate hobbs and shaw i hate hobbs and shaw you guys so it's just such a mess you guys i just i can't with it okay so we're gonna move on to honorable mention before i give you my top five and that's going to be the born franchise because you know, Jason Bourne, we, we gotta love some Jason Bourne. Indiana Jones, I honestly had Indiana Jones originally on my list and I know a lot of you are like, really? 
really and the reason i ended up taking it off my list was because i don't have as much love for it as a lot of people do because i have less than a year that i've seen the movies and i've only seen them once and yes they were very very enjoyable that's why i had it on my list i just felt like i was keeping something else off my list that i enjoy more and that i've actually rewatched more than indiana jones and then finally would be resident evil because i mean it's zombies here we go top five coming in in fifth place would be spider-man i really love spider-man um as you can tell well you can't really tell because i'm blocking it have the intro the uh, spider-verse poster right behind me and i incorporate this movie as well and i mean honestly after really careful consideration i have come to terms that spider-man is my favorite hero i, I love him and for me my spider-man is toby mcguire uh, my least favorite spider-man would be andrew garfield i do have a spider-man ranking coming soon i don't know when yet it is in my trusty little notebook so because i do have a ranking video coming at some point <laughs> i will cut this short and move on to number four i'm actually going to swap off my three and four so my number four is going to be harry potter um i honestly have not read any of the books or listened to them because i know i'm an audible lover i just personally have a love for this uh franchise through the movies and I just love this world you guys I actually did for the first time a Harry Potter marathon about a year or so ago I even purchased some cute little Harry Potter um, inspired uh, little cups and honestly I just realized that now that I'm looking at this I should have had my Harry Potter pop funkles out but whatever let's go ahead and move on to number three and that is American Pie oh I just love this movie you guys well hold on let me let me backtrack this I love the American Pie franchise, the four movies that incorporate the original cast. Not the shitty ass movies that we got later on, because I, I, I literally just remembered that we have like a bunch of like reboots. I believe Eugene Levy comes out in most of them or in some of them. I could be mistaken, but I feel like he does. I'm not incorporating those sucky ass movies. I think I've maybe seen like one of them. No. I'm incorporating american pie american pie 2 american wedding and american reunion those are the ones that i am talking about <laughs> and this is also where milf became popular from and i love that we got the fourth um, final part with american reunion i mean american wedding was great and that's like oh that's awesome but to see where they are in life 10 years later uh i loved it i really did coming in and number two will be toy story because of course i had to have a cartoon in my in my list you guys it's me and what better cartoon than toy story the way that it ended well mind you i was okay with Toy Story 3, that one just made me cry so much, you guys. It was such a perfect, perfect ending, you guys. But that was technically Andy's conclusion. Toy Story 4 is where we got Woody's ending and Woody's conclusion. I didn't feel like we needed part four, but I'm glad that we got it. Now coming in in first place to what I consider to be the best. If you personally know me, I feel like you're gonna know which movie this is. Well, which franchise this is. Because it incorporates my husband, and that is Pirates of the Caribbean, with the Black Pearl being my favorite out of the whole uh, franchise. So I do have a ranking video coming at some point as well. I'm not going to get into it just like Spider-Man. Just know that this is my favorite. I love it. I love Johnny Depp. It has been confirmed that we are getting a female version of Pirates of the Caribbean. I was honestly like not gonna be here for it because Johnny Depp is not going to be part of the movie because of all the scandal Disney ended up not wanting him to be part of this franchise anymore and dropped them and I was just like fuck you whatever I was so mad at you guys but the tables did ship a tad and I'm just a little bit here for it now seeing that it has been confirmed that Margot Robbie will be starring um in the movie and I love me some Margot Robbie but this is what I consider to be the top 10 movie franchise uh my list of course is not the right list it's just my list you guys so you guys can let me know down below what you guys consider to be the best movie franchise I know a lot of you are probably like well where is Star Wars and Star Trek I have never seen those movies, you guys. I've seen Lord of the Rings. I'm really not a fan of Lord of the Rings. I, I, It's really come to my attention. You're either a Lord of the Rings fan or a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I really wasn't here for Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry. No, like, hate towards it. But those are the main movie franchises that I can think of off the top of my head that most of you are going to be like, well, 
where is this movie at and that movie at um i just haven't seen them or i just really wasn't that fond of it before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified each time i post something new until next time i'll see you guys in concessions bye